A very good day to all of you. This video is a continuation of the previous video on synthesizing. Um, so in the previous video, we have talked about synthesizing, how to synthesize uh, various sources um, when we are preparing to write for an academic essay or a research paper. Um, so synthesizing is the first step before you are writing your research paper or an academic essay. Um, so when you synthesize, what you do is you um, find sources from, it could be from the websites, journal articles, books or magazines on the topic that you are about to write so that you, you will get a lot of information, ideas and opinions in order to support your points or your arguments in your writing. So, um, in the previous video, we have talked about um, um, a topic, should marijuana be legalized? And we have done the synthesizing um, uh, from um, various websites on that particular topic. So, um, this video is a continuation of the previous video on how to develop a short research paper or how to develop or how to write an academic essay. So uh, the first step as mentioned in the previous video was to uh, first decide on a topic and once we have decided on a topic so it could be any topic that you um, want to write it could be um, a scientific topic, a social topic, um, something about um, economy, uh, political, um, could be about anything. Um, so once you have decided a topic, you create a concept map or a mind map to get an idea or brainstorm the topic that you have in mind. So this is an example of a mind map on the topic, should marijuana be legalized? Anything that you have in mind, you can brainstorm and um, brainstorm in a form of a concept map, what you plan to have in your writing. So once you have a brainstorm in a form of and you translate your ideas on a concept map, you go to websites, look for journals or books uh, for points that you can include in your academic writing because um, we it is impossible for us to simply write from what we have in mind so we need to we need supports ideas and opinions from other sources from authors and writers from any institutions anything that we can find on from the websites journal articles or books and then we make notes so this is an example of the synthesis um, from various sources from um, carter railton uh, crane cox um, and then i also have the references so from each source i have the points um, this is on legalizing marijuana should it be legalized or not um, so i have um, gone through four sources and I have a lot of points and then I come out after after synthesizing all the points from the various sources from the websites um, so this is um, just an examples of the websites that um, I have um, studied for the synthesis so this is one example of the websites there are four websites all together and um, so these are the results of my research my research from the website and I synthesize all of the points into tables a table like this together with the citation and the reference um, <clears throat> so now with uh, the synthesis that I have um, I come out with the idea that um, my academic essay would be um, about marijuana should be legalized 
for only medical purposes but not for recreational purposes so based on my synthesis here I found that most of the points talk about that marijuana can be beneficial in terms of medical in terms of health um, in terms of medical but it is harmful in terms of uh, recreational usage uh, that can affect your health uh, so that is what I'm going to write in my um, academic essay or my research paper so from the synthesis that I have now I am going to create a what I call as the integrated outline so this is the outline of my research paper or my academic essay so first uh, when we are writing and um, a research paper it has to follow a proper format so we need to have the introduction um, under the introduction we have the of course like a normal essay we have a background information and then we have a thesis statement and then we have all the paragraphs and then followed by the conclusion so we need to follow a proper format to make it a good piece of writing so first I have my topic and my topic is should marijuana be legalized and I um, based on my synthesis just now based from the sources that I have since synthesized uh, like the the one that we have seen just now I my opinion is um, marijuana should be legalized but only for medical purposes and it shouldn't be legalized for recreational usage like for smoking um, so my essay is going to talk about that my research paper is going to talk about that so I'm going to talk about the benefits of marijuana also the side effects of marijuana and in my conclusion I will talk about marijuana should be legalized only for medical purposes but not for recreational usage so first I have my topic and then um, my introduction so what I'm going to put in my introduction first a uh, brief uh, general background information so you can make it longer for a longer piece of writing so this is just an example and then I have my thesis statement what is a thesis statement thesis statement is um, one sentence or two sentences that tell the audience the readers of your essay the readers of your research paper what you are going to talk about in your essay um, so um, the example the sample of the thesis statement here um, after talking about the background information about marijuana a lot of debates and then um, in my thesis statement I say although there are agreements and disagreements on whether or not marijuana should be legalized it cannot be argued that marijuana has both positive and negative values towards humans so this is what I'm going to talk about in my coming paragraphs the positive and the negative um, values of marijuana towards human beings um, and in the end I'll make a conclusion whether it should be legalized or shouldn't be legalized and my conclusion would be yes it should be legalized for medical purposes but not for recreational usage so now that I've done with the plan for my introduction I move on to my first paragraph so what am I going to have for my first paragraph so this is based on the synthesis that I already have so my first synthesis is um, marijuana is uh, beneficial for human beings because it can reduce pain so uh, the first point that I will have is marijuana can reduce pain so that would be my topic sentence so the topic sentence is the first sentence of your paragraph so it tells what you are going to talk about in your paragraph so this statement is the last sentence in your introduction paragraph it tells the audience what your essay is going to discuss um, so my topic sentence is um, first marijuana 
is advantages so this up to you you can use your own creativity on how to construct your topic sentence as it can be helpful in reducing pains so that would be my topic sentence and what about uh, when when I already have my topic sentence it is followed by the explanation and the supporting details so explain explanation of the topic sentence um, so how can it reduce pains and supporting details would be the examples of the pains uh, that can be reduced so for example migraines uh, arthritis um, so what do I have here in my integrated outline so I will fill in the table here with um, the point that I got from my synthesis so this is the plan so this is the a more detailed uh, planning of my um, of my um, academic paper or my uh, research paper so those are the points that I got from my research just now from synthesizing and the sources the source is from Carter 2020 and I already have the complete reference here in the end of the essay I'll put the reference um, so that is my first paragraph so this is what I'm going to have or going to talk about in my first paragraph and then I move on to my second paragraph so what would be the topic sentence for my second paragraph so I refer to my synth synthesis just now uh, so it is talking about um, a reduced neurogi neurological and mental disorder by Railton 2018 so the source is um, Railton 2018 and this would be my points so first the topic sentence so the topic sentence is um, secondly marijuana uh, is also beneficial because it can reduce neurological and mental disorder so the topic sentence is secondly so you can use a lot of linkers so firstly secondly thirdly moreover then next furthermore in addition to add to that to make your essay more uh, and nicer and link properly so secondly Ihuana is also beneficial in reducing neurological problems and and also mental illness Or illnesses so that would be your topic sentence for the second paragraph so topic sentence the first sentence of uh, that particular paragraph and what about the explanation and supporting details um, so it is based on the one that you already have to support your argument so just simply uh, cut and paste from what you already have here So for paragraph two, basically these are the things that you are going to explain, to mention. Um, so you can always um, argue. So let's say in your paragraph, um, uh, some people say uh, marijuana is good because it can uh, make you feel more relaxed. So you can disagree and you can support your disagreement with points from sources from 
from other sources. So you can cite other people to support your point. So you can see, um, I disagree with this idea that uh, marijuana can make people feel more relaxed because uh, the harmful effects are bigger. This is according to uh, this person from this source, uh, marijuana can cause this and that. So that means you can also argue by citing uh, sources from the internet to support what you think. So that is what a uh, research paper is all about. So once you already know what you're going to have in your paragraph number two, you can move on to your other points. So your other points would be uh, from your synthesis. However, uh, marijuana has a lot of side effects. It can cause memory problems. So these are the points to support, uh, to justify whatever you are saying. So paragraph T, um, however, your topic sentence, marijuana can be harmful as it can cause memory problems among its users. So perhaps it should not be legalized because of this situation. And the points that you get from the synthesis, from synthesizing, and the sources that you get is from um, Crane 2020. So um, you do this with all the paragraphs that you have. So the same goes to paragraph number four. And then lastly, you have your conclusion. So what do we normally have when we write a conclusion? So we have a concluding sentence, um, like to conclude. To conclude um, or in conclusion or all in all so in your concluding sentence what you have is you mention back the thesis statement so your thesis statement is this so marijuana has uh, its positive and negative values towards human beings so you repeat back all in all um, this essay has discussed the positive and negative effects of marijuana on human and then you mentioned back all the main points. So there are four points all together from the outline just now. So there are four points. So you mention back or reiterate all the main points. And point number one, two, three, and four. And then you end your conclusion with uh, what should people do or what should the government do as a future action. So should marijuana be legalized or shouldn't marijuana be legalized? Um, or it should be legalized only for medical purposes, but shouldn't for recreational usage. Uh, so that is what you have for your conclusion. So, um, so this is what we call as the integrated outline. So this is the template of integrated outline where you outline what you are going to write in your academic essay or the research paper. So once you already have your integrated outline, now you are ready to write your essay in full. So what you do is easy. You just simply translate whatever points that you have here in a proper essay. So this is an example. So this is an example of a proper essay. So should marijuana be legalized, the topic? And the green highlight here would be the background information. So this is the introduction. 
and I have my thesis statement here and then I have my first paragraph here with the topic sentence and this is the explanation and the supporting details and I do not forget my citation so citation is also important and you can refer to my previous video on citations and references um, in which you have to follow the proper format and then I move on to my second paragraph where I have the um, topic sentence and also my explanation and supporting details so I have my citations to support what to support the topic sentence to support the idea or the opinion so the same goes to the third paragraph so because the third paragraph talks about the opposite side of uh, the negative side of um, the marijuana so I use the word however <clears throat> because it is the contrary of what I have in the pre previous paragraph so the same thing I have my citation from the synthesizing process that I have done and so the same goes to the next paragraph and lastly I have my conclusion all in all this is the concluding sentence and then I have um, I reiterate all the main points that I have mentioned in all the paragraphs and this is future action so what should we do should we legalize or should we make it illegal and because this is a research paper this is an academic essay when you have citations you need to have references so references are very important because it will that is um, the follow-up it will uh, tell where the citations are coming from so when you are doing your references you have to follow a proper format APA format of seventh edition that is uh, widely used um, around the world and also in academic institutions um, you can also refer to my previous video on how to write citations and references properly so that is a complete research paper <clears throat> or oh, this is a short research paper and <clears throat> um, it is also an academic essay in the form of a short research paper <clears throat> so um, I hope um, you can um, come out with your own uh, research paper uh, properly based on the lessons that we have today um, that is all about um, synthesizing and developing a short research paper um, I'll see you again in my next video so thank you very much for your attention